Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the Chloe Ting two week ab shred. Today was my last day, I finished doing it. We are going to talk about my whole experience doing the shred. I have some pictures for you, some videos to show my progress. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So the reason why I wanted to do this shred in the first place is because y'all my back has been hurting so bad recently. It's not like it's my mattress or anything. I don't feel like I sleep funny. I typically sleep with a pillow between my legs because I feel like it alleviates the pain on my back. But I knew, especially with my physical therapy background, I knew that I needed to strengthen my core. I don't work out as much as I should. And I was just weak all over. And I was just like, you know what? It's time to get your life together. I'm 27 years old. I should not be walking around feeling like I'm 65. <laughs> and even when I was working out a couple months ago, it wasn't consistent, but I know for sure that I wasn't doing no core ab workouts because I've always hated ab workouts. I will do anything, legs, upper body, butt, anything. But I would just always skip out on my abs because it's just hard, just out of pure laziness. <laughs> But having a strong core is everything, so, and I knew that, and I needed to get my life. I really didn't go into the challenge trying to lose weight at all. <laughs> In fact, that's like the opposite of what I want to do. I was trying to gain weight a while back, but listen, I'm good. I'm good. I just want to be healthy, live a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy, take care of my body, the way it is you know I didn't take any measurements of my body because I wasn't trying to lose any weight that wasn't the goal for me I just wanted to build up some strength work on my core and that was pretty much it so the first week oh my gosh the first the first day I should start with was an absolute struggle <laughs> oh, I was so out of breath I need to do cardio, but we'll talk about that later. I was so out of breath. I had to pause multiple times because I wasn't able to get through the whole workout. Um, the workout was only 10 minutes long, but it probably took me, I want to say like 20, 25 minutes because I just had to keep taking breaks because I was so tired and weak, especially when it came to the plank exercises. On the first couple days, I probably could only do the up and down planks like four times. My upper body strength is terrible. It's so embarrassing. But we're going to get it together. The first week was really hard. I wasn't really noticing any changes but slowly but surely I started realizing that I didn't have to take as many breaks as I was initially. I didn't work out at all on Saturdays and Sundays. I only worked out on the weekdays. By the second week I was so hyped because I was able to hold the plank for the whole, is it 20 seconds? I think every, no it's more than 20 seconds. I think it's like 30 seconds, 30 second exercises or something like that. But I was hyped because I was able to hold the plank for the entire time. The up and down planks are still hard for me even now, but I'm able to do it um, without stopping or taking breaks, which is really cool. It's really cool to like watch your body get stronger and stronger day by day. What kept me motivated is knowing that I had to film this video and I told y'all I was going to do it. And I didn't want to let myself down because I was really getting into it. It was something I kind of looked forward to doing in the morning. And I don't even like working out. I'm not that type of person that I wish I was. I wish I really enjoyed working out, but I always felt a lot better about myself. My body just felt really good after working out. So it just gave, it just motivated me to keep going. In the second week, I still wasn't able to like do the whole exercise through without pausing it. I made sure that if I paused it and start from there because I didn't want to cheat, I didn't want to skip out on the exercise, I want to make sure I'm doing it for the whole however many seconds it is, even if I had to take a break. I do feel like my body is a lot stronger, I feel like my core is a lot stronger, 
This workout has showed me that I really need to do a lot more cardio. I knew it anyway, but me being this out of breath and this tired is not good. So I definitely want to keep doing the ab workouts because I still feel like I have a, a long way to go. Um, I have a little definition, but I want to see, I want the whole six pack and I, <laughs> I'm just going to keep going, doing the ab workouts, maybe not every day, but maybe three or four times a week. I definitely want to do some of her butt workout and incorporate some cardio in there as well. So my tip is to take your time. Do not rush through it, especially in the beginning. Um, you always want to make sure you're having good form because if your form isn't good, there's really no point of, you know, continuing the exercise. Just do as much as you can. Take as many breaks as you need to, however long it takes to get you through the whole exercise. I did it in the morning. That was just what worked better for me. I did it before I had breakfast. And I just had my lemon water and I just went straight into it. Find a time of day that works for you. Yeah, just take your time. Don't rush. Trust me, the days will get a little bit easier. It wasn't 100% easy for me, even now, two weeks later. I'm just going to insert some clips here. I don't really see that much of a difference. I feel stronger. I know I'm stronger because I'm able to do a, a whole lot more as far as the exercises are concerned, but there's a little bit of definition. I don't know, I feel like my stomach has gotten flatter. Hopefully I can keep at this. I didn't want to get my expectations up too high. I was just going to be realistic with myself. I wasn't planning on getting a six pack in two weeks, but I'm going to keep working at it. If you guys want to update, I will definitely do that for you guys. I also wanted to say that I did the same exercise every single day. I didn't do any other one of her challenges or exercises. I only did the same video, the same two week ab shred, whatever it's called. Now I feel like since I've gotten into a routine, I can add more exercises to my regimen and not just focus on my abs, but I wanna get my whole body together. And that is basically all I have to tell you guys. If you wanna see more videos like this and my progress going on, I will definitely keep you updated if you guys wanna see that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.